Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. Thanks for being here. Consider subscribing. In today's video, I actually wanted to just do a little quick Filipino recipe I wanted to share with you guys. I think it's something that anyone can cook. It's super easy, but it's also super delicious. And it is called Filipino Chicken Tenola. And it's basically just like a chicken soup recipe, except for this, we eat it over rice. All the ingredients are right here. I'll share them with you guys. So it is soup based and we like to call it sabao. And I do mine very sabao heavy because I like the soup. And so we just have some chicken stock here. And then obviously we have the chicken. I like to use both chicken thighs and chicken breast. And I'm using a bunch of chicken because we have a full house today. So I'm gonna be cooking a lot of tenola. And then for my veggies, Typically, the traditional recipes for tenola uses malunga leaves, but sometimes I can't find malunga leaves, and sometimes I want something a little bit more hearty, so I go in with some baby bok choy. And then I also like to put in some chayote for a little bit more veggies. This actually might be a fruit though. I'll have to check on that. And then to even make it more heartier, I like to add in some potatoes, so I'll Cut this in a quarter, just so you can have little bite-sized pieces of potato in there. Obviously some onion for some flavor. And one of the main ingredients for the flavor of this dish is also ginger. And I'm gonna put a lot of ginger. I love ginger, so I use a ton of ginger. And then also fish sauce. And this is our favorite brand of fish sauce. This is also gonna help you give the flavor um, of tenola as well. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep all this stuff and then we'll get to cooking. All right, so we're gonna get to chopping and we're gonna use one of my favorite knives from our place and this is a chef knife. We're gonna go ahead and cut the bottom of the bok choy to make sure that we get the crevices all cleaned out that, so that there's no dirt in them. We're gonna put them in a bowl and just give them a good rinse in water. So now we're gonna go ahead and just chop up our garlic. Next, we're gonna go ahead and peel and cut up our ginger. And remember, I use a ton of ginger because I love ginger. A good tip to remove the excess skin is to just use a spoon and scrape away. And finally, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my ginger into matchsticks, just because that's the way my mom did it. But if you like your pieces larger, you can go ahead and keep them large. And for our onion, we're just gonna roughly slice these up. All right, so now we're just gonna chop up our potatoes, and this is totally optional because it's not traditionally in Filipino chicken tenola. But like I said earlier, I just like it because it makes the dish a little bit more heartier. And the last thing we need to prep is the chayote, and this is also optional because you might not have it in your Asian grocery store. We wanna go ahead and just peel the skin and chop it. I really like this vegetable slash fruit because it takes on the flavor of the tenola, and it's just nice to have in your sabao. All right, so here's how it's looking, guys. I prepped all of this stuff, and so we have our ginger, garlic, onions, chicken, chayote, potatoes and our bok choy and so basically we're going in order of how we're cooking and I usually wouldn't prep it like this I would just leave it on the cutting board but because I am kind of just trying to be organized and show you guys just so you know you don't have to do all this and have so many dishes all right so let's go ahead and start frying all right let's get some olive oil into a hot pot and add our ginger we're gonna let them cook until they get a little bit of color and then we're gonna add in our garlic get those going and then we're gonna add in some onions and cook them down until they're a little bit translucent. And then once the vegetables are ready, we're gonna add our chicken just to get some browning on them. We don't have to cook them all the way through because they'll finish cooking in the broth. So this is the color I like to see on them and we're gonna give everything a good mix and then add our chicken broth. And get this to a boil and simmer away for about 15 to 20 minutes. So as this is simmering away, we wanna go ahead and clean up our broth by taking away some of the excess lard and oil. The oil we call mandika, so we wanna do this so that our broth is nice and clear. 
From here, we're gonna go ahead and add our fish sauce. I go in with one ladle full at a time. So this is my first one, and then we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste. I ended up adding about almost three ladlefuls of fish sauce and a pinch of salt. So once everything is tasting delicious, you're gonna go ahead and put in your potatoes and cook them for about five minutes. And then you're gonna follow that with the chayote and cook these guys for about five to seven minutes. And finally, let's add our bok choy and these should cook in about one to two minutes. They cook really quick. And that's it. Now it's just time to plate up and enjoy. All right, guys, so that is a quick and easy Tanola recipe. I'm outside right now eating in our backyard. It's a cool fall night, and I feel like this warm bowl of Tanola will be perfect out here. But I want to show you the bowl. Delicious. So we're going to do a little taste test. All right, I have a confession to make. I was so busy and flustered cooking and recording that I forgot to freaking make the rice. <laughs> so the rice is cooking now, but I wanted to do a taste test before the sun goes completely down and then wait for the rice to eat my dinner. But I figured let's have a first bite together and then I'll save this for when the rice is ready. But we have some chicken right here with some bok choy. It's actually my first time cooking with chayote and I don't know if I even chopped it right. You don't find it in a normal restaurant or in a normal grocery store, so if you guys can't find it, don't use it. This is my first time using it anyway, so do everything without the chayote and it's still perfect. But let's go ahead and try this bite with chicken, bok choy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's like a freaking hug. Especially out here in this cool weather. Wow. That's good. Some potatoes. I don't think I've seen a tanola recipe with potatoes. Yep. And I guess it's actually fine without the rice if you have the potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna go in with another bite. Hmm? Wow. I mean, look how tender that chicken is. Mmm. Like melts in your mouth. So good. Delicious. Anyways, like I said, I gotta wait for my rice to cook before I finish my meal. I wanna eat it with the rice. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and let me know if you like these recipe videos. Just a disclaimer, I am not a professional cook. I just try to replicate dishes from my parents. This is not your traditional, traditional Tanola dish, so don't come for me in the comments. This is just me trying to do my best, okay? Anyways, try to choose happy over sad today and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. One more bite though, one more bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm.